Actually, uh... Okay, do it now. Hello, hello, and welcome to Road Trip Adventure. I'm here with HomesEZ, my co-commentator. Hey, hey, what's good? And we're going to be playing this uh, this good old game. So I'm going to start in three, two, one, go. So um, while I do this intro sequence, Home, why don't you tell everybody about what this game is all about? All right, so Road Trip Adventure is... Uh... Well, uh, as we like to affectionately call it, a car PG for the PlayStation 2 uh, is part of a series of games called Choro Q based on toy cars from Japan, I believe. Uh, so the plot of this game is uh, our car here uh, wants to become the president. So we're going to go, uh, normally you would go and race the president to uh, try to become president of the world. Yep, that's a pretty good summary. Um... But yeah, this is a pretty wacky game. There's like tons of tons of NPCs to talk to and tons of like little missions to complete. So it's going to be a fun time. And looking at the card here, we've got we've got a pretty good card so far. Um, I also hit the incentive, the donation incentive to uh, collect every Choro Q coin in the world. So that's going to be an interesting time constraint as well. It's going to take a while to get all of those. Yep. So there's going to be 100 of these little golden coins you'll find throughout the map. Uh, some of them are in pretty reachable places, but some of them can be in some really wacky spots. The, I think the devs wanted you to explore the map a little bit, even though there's uh, not much out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I'm basically doing here at the start is driving through the ocean to go to a secret little island, and there we can get jet turbines, which help us traverse the world a lot better. Yeah, so uh, we're going to take this little lunchbox van here, and we're just going to strap some jet engines on it, because why not? We need to go fast. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Uh, so, the first section here, uh, on our way to the jet engines, they're on a uh, little island town, and uh, the way we get there is we just, we're just going to drive under the ocean here, as we're yep. now pulling up to the island. Here we are at the island. Welcome little... to Papaya. Yep. I'm going to head straight for the Q's factory so that I have a warp and so that I can come back here later. I think it looks like. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for column one and column two. Looking at the at the bingo the bingo card. Um, for my third row, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do though. Probably row five. That looks like a pretty easy one as well. Um, the square right in the bottom left of the card is a really really useful one because I need to do that anyway so that I can help get all the coins. Um, because I don't, I don't know all of their locations that well, because I'm not a hundred percent runner. But you know, yeah, who who would hundred percent run this game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, right? Yeah, who? Uh, but yeah, that opened Millionaire Cato safe. Uh, it is a kind of a little mini game, I almost said say, where you have to. This guy has a huge safe, and he's got. Uh, all of his four sons living right next to him, and you have to go find the password for the safe. Once you get the safe open, uh, it adds a little function to the minimap, which shows you uh, locations of the coins on the minimap with little yellow markers, which helps a lot. Alright, from here normally there's a faster route to do this, but I usually take the safer route because I'm really shit at this, so... <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, this game is programmed extremely well and uh, allows us, us to drive up walls for some reason. Yep. I, I've learned to not act, I've learned to not ask questions when it comes to this game's physics. Just go right up the vertical cliff face. It looks to me exactly like a Bethesda game. A vertical up a mountain, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Classic. Listen, if you told me Bethesda made the physics engine for this game, I, I'd believe it. I would believe it. To be honest, I think Skyrim's physics engine is even more broken. Right. Now I'm going to get this shop sign, because I need to get 20 miles on a shop sign for one of the, one of the goals. There we go, now I'm a walking advertisement. For coconuts. Pretty pog. And we're gonna head back to Peach Town so that I can go and get the safe straight away because I wanna get as many coins as possible. Trying to you know, launch ourselves cross country side here with these jet rockets. Yep. Oh, I should have done the Papu tree while I was at Papaya Island. Thinking about it. Wait, where am I going? This is the wrong way. I think Q's rally is also going to be a bit of a difficult one. That takes quite a while, but I think it'll be fun. Yep. Good old Q's rally. It's a rally race you unlock later on where you have to quickly get to each uh, Q factory. Actually, this is like, um... This is slightly embarrassing, but can you remind me again how the how to unlock the Q's factory building? I mean, the Q's rally building. Um, I think it's all warps, right? I believe so. Yeah, you just need all Q's factories visited. Okay. Yep. I just wanted to make sure. Whoops. Failing this a bit. There we go. I guess an excellent physics engine. Excellent. Oh. And sometimes it does things you don't want it to, like that. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Get that coin while I'm here. I need to come back here anyway, though, because there's a few more coins down this route. Good handling. Yeah. At the so at, mentioning how this was a car RPG, uh, one of the main aspects of this game is uh, earning money to buy better parts to upgrade your car, like you'd upgrade a character in RPG. Yeah, but. The starter car is a uh, kind of crap. Not gonna lie. Yep, that's why I like to do the coins as early as I can because that means I can get better parts for later on in the run. Here. Crack open this here safe. Yeah, we just happen to know the exact code. Lucky guess, lucky guess. Yeah. 
It is the same every time. It uh, there's like a hidden like fish paintings in all of his son's houses that have the code. You just count the fish, and it's uh, the same every time. I feel like I had to get my brother to do that for me as a kid because I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, I know. I never figured it out as a kid. I uh, definitely struggled finding all the coins. I know I definitely had the coin radar as a kid, but I didn't remember how I got it, so I probably, yeah, I probably didn't do it myself. I made a lot of trips to the the bars to figure out where the coins were. I did forget to check that square. There we go. Uh, red ruby, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, that's in San Polis. If I, oh yeah, I should probably go do the, uh, the other special part so then I can clear that as well. Yep. Meantime, I'll go get this coin. shot that a little bit. Mm -hmm. so we're grabbing grabbing some uh, extra parts here to help us drive underwater. Yep. Uh, and they are the final special parts, so I can check that off. I should probably just go the normal way. Or I could maybe do it like this. Actually, yeah, this will work. There we go. Okay, thanks game for doing that. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. It's really finicky up this hill. I should have just taken the normal way. Yeah, the uh, slants in this game definitely uh, can cause some headaches. Especially when it's snow and you're just sliding everywhere. Yeah, there's like no traction on this surface. Maybe I should have gotten the big tires before I came here. That would have been a good idea. I'll go back to Peach Town for the time being and do all the coins there. I also need to visit all the houses here in Peach Town, so I'll do that in the meantime as well. I'll buy some better steering. Whoops, that's not steering. I'll put that on later. I always wondered what the Incanon explanation is for how they change out parts. Is it like surgery for these cars? <laughs> Maybe they're like modular. 
They fit together like Lego pieces. <laughs> Which part would you say contains the soul then? The essence of the car? The That's headlights. That's a hard question. They use the headlights to speak. I'm going to say it's the headlights. You heard it here first? The headlights are the very essence of a car. <laughs> yep. That's what makes a Formula One car a Formula One car is the fact that it doesn't have headlights. It's soulless, it's empty. And that's why they light the circuits up around them. That's, yeah, the, the circuit lights give it its soul. What about NASCAR? They have fake headlights. Yeah, they're just stickers. Yeah, at least the F1 have the... Um... Ability to go, this is what we are, take us or leave us. NASCAR are like, please can we fit in? Many Americans just sat and bolt upright in their chairs. That's why I'm glad I'm on this side of the pond, not that side. Right. I need to get this peach for James. So what am I? I was looking at my other screen. There we go. Oh wait, I forgot to get that coin. Fuck. James and his giant peach. Yep. Funny reference they made there. Come on. I'm so bad at this. There we go. Oh, I forgot to enter the, uh... The adventurer's house. You actually, uh... Finder. Uh... Right, yeah. I think I forgot the other... Wait, did I? I did the the wine farmer. I mean, the peach farmer. Yeah. Oh, it makes wine out of peaches. I don't know how that's possible, but. <laughs> Adventure Jones. a funny reference to oh is it fuck. well maybe it's like indiana jones i don't know oh right wait man uh, how did i miss that all this year all these years what the hell <laughs> that just went way over my head all this time wow oh i don't know why they made him a french car though That, that was just quite a fail. There we go. Oh my god, I completely missed that. I'm making a bit of a mess of this right now. That's... Yeah, some <laughs> classic physics launch that just kind of happens when you hit something weirdly. Yeah. The amount of times that I've been sent flying in the middle of a run because I hit like a slant at an odd angle. Too many to count, too many to count. <laughs> I 
hate those hills between Beach Town and like the the Fuji Bridge, where sometimes if you hit them, you'll just stop dead in your tracks. Yep, stop dead. Immediately kill with an any percent run. Yeah, um, would just like to say that we take no responsibility if you drive your car into a lake and it does not work anymore. <laughs> I don't know, man. This game's showing me it works. I gotta try it. Yeah. Again, we take no responsibility. I'll take full responsibility and laugh at it. <laughs> so what you're saying is if I do it, you're going to buy me a new car. Maybe not that much responsibility. <laughs> How many miles have I done on my shop sign? Eleven. So one interesting thing to note about those miles is uh, on the PAL version, the unit uh, unit is in uh, metric with kilometers, and uh, it's actually better because you make the same amount of money even though the kilometers are scaled properly, so you, you can travel the same amount distance in PAL and make more money. Yep. The only reason to play PAL. <laughs> yeah, we uh, actually had... Doesn't really our... help because the game is so much slower anyway. Yeah. But it was still uh, just fast enough uh, to actually take the world record in the 100 stamp category because they were able to buy a part a bit sooner because of the money, which saved, I think, just enough time. Nice. got me. I've got to say I'm very impressed that a Fiat Panda gets up to something like 217 mile an hour. I mean, well it's not really a Fiat Panda, but yeah, that is quite impressive. It is about the same size. <laughs> yeah. Roughly, yeah. And it's probably got well, maybe a bit more horsepower, but not that much. Is there a space section, just considering the fact that you have two rockets, can you get into space with them? Well, you can get into the sky, but not into space. Ah, the missile trick there. Giant peach Easter egg's fine. Space Easter egg? No, fine. Although in the prequel to this game, you can travel back in time using the rockets. So that's pretty interesting. This game's so good, they made it twice. And there's a sequel as well. How right, much sir. lore is there? Um, too much. Too much. Wow. It's quite an expansive series. It's a, can't so go if, boom. if the Cars movies aren't enough for you, you can uh, dive right into this game and get more of the Cars sentient cars experience juicy car law oh, I should have done the Fuji warp what am I doing that was really dumb of me and I keep forgetting to put the steering on oh well I guess I'll just chill 
Where's that coin? I need to speak to James anyway, so I have another reason to go back to Peachtown. You also have to talk to the the Q's truck in Peachtown to get the oh, yeah. Q's, Q's there factory there well. and yeah. in uh, my city. Best name for a city I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I like how they just straight up called it my city. They didn't let you name the city, which is just confusing because there's so many other things that you can name in this game. I think my favorite thing you can name in this game is the uh, you can set the like the little greeting in Chestnut yeah, Canyon. That's pretty funny. Because uh, in the hundred stamp run, we just do a bunch of A's, so it's just everyone in that uh, in that city just starts screaming at you every time they talk to you now. <laughs> I would maybe make it a bid war, but like you don't spend enough time in Chestnut Canyon to make it worth it. Yeah. That has more interactivity than some modern AAA games with multiplayer. <laughs> True. You can even name the currency that you use in the game. I don't think there's any other game I've seen that can let you do that. So, guys, if you don't mind, I would quickly like to plug once again the amazing uh, charity that we are raising funds to. Go ahead. Yeah, go so ahead. that would be once again B Fred Hutch and their COVID-19 research with 25% of Fred Hutch's faculties already dedicated to viruses before the pandemic. Fred Hutch was able to take swift action when it started. They have been part of the leading of massive COVID-19 vaccine trials for the US government that have shown great success and I Hope everybody who is watching here has already gotten their uh, vaccination appointment or maybe have already gotten their shots. I don't know, but we can see that uh, the vaccines are rolling out and that's great. And thanks to uh, such great efforts, such as, for example, from Fred Hutch, for uh, whom we are raising funds this event, we can make sure that we do get our vaccination in the near future and can finally end this long ongoing pandemic. But if you're not sure why you should donate, then Panda, maybe there's something you want to tell the viewers. Yes, um, if you donate, again, we have some brilliant prizes. You only have 30 minutes now to get in for the Team 17 game pack that we have going on, which includes Rogue Heroes, Ruins of Tesos, and Ukulele and the Impossible Layer. If you don't get your bid in within 20 minutes, you will miss your chance forever. Um, we also have a couple of other gifts that I'm trying to find, and I seem to have lost my page, so give me a second. The <laughs> so only go. gift is oh, the Bingo Thong oh, mug. Oh, yeah, the Bingo Thong mugs, yep. If you haven't got one, you are missing out. Uh, we have the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate that I mentioned before, uh, which is $50. We have a Team 17 Grand Game Prize, which includes Blasphemous, Going Under, Monster Sanctuary, Narita Boy, Neon Abyss, Overcooked All You Can Eat, Rogue Heroes Ruin of Tezos, The Survivalists, Worms WMD and Ukulele the Impossible Layer. This um, one's going to be open till the end of the event for a cumulative fifty pound fifty dollar sorry um, donation. So if you went for every um, Team Seventeen game pack every day, you will automatically be entered. We also have Near Replicant version one point two two four seven four four eight seven one three nine dot dot dot. Again, I definitely didn't read that off a list. And a Fred Hutch merch pack. So if you fancy any of them, get your donations in, and you could be lucky. Yep, back over to you guys with the run. 
All right, just entering Fuji City now. And I'm gonna get this warp real quick. I always love just flying in full speed to houses. I wonder, <laughs> just like, hi, I'm here, stop dead. <laughs> Either that or you like crash into their kitchen. <laughs> Coin is annoying as hell. Basically, by eliminating the coins from White Mountain and Peach Town and Fuji City, we've pretty much done most of the coins so far. Like the the biggest hitters. Yeah, they're pretty they're pretty front loaded in areas you're supposed to be at in the map first. Well, except White Mountain, but yeah. Yeah, it's a little halfway through, but we went there first because it's close. I just realized I've still forgotten to equip that handling I bought ages ago. <laughs> I'm so dead focused on the coins, I can't think of anything else. There we go. Is there any reward for collecting all the coins, or are they literally just a collectible? Uh, they give you parts. Which is why I'm doing them this early, because then later on I can have good parts for the rest of the run. Yep, so there, there'll be an uh, NPC uh, that we actually need to uh, get for my city. And once you get them in my city, you uh, bring them the coins and they will give you uh, one reward for every ten coins you've found. Nice little hop there. Yep. That's always a bit of a tricky one, because sometimes it just sends you down to the ground. Yep. <laughs> Although As I'd what... argue the other one's even harder. We try our best to bend the physics engine to our will, but... Uh, it's a little, little fickle sometimes. A little fickle sometimes. Yeah. It's very chaotic. That guy's driving into a wall. That's pretty cool. So this is where um, CD Projekt Red got all the um, programming for the cars in Cyberpunk from. <laughs> Stop for a refuel. Oh yeah, I suppose we did not mention this game actually has a, a, f a fuel mechanic. <laughs> Little meter on the, uh, I guess the the set of meters with the time and stuff. Uh, basically, it doesn't matter too too much. You can basically refuel it by going into pretty much any building. 
We'll give you a nice quick refill. And even if you run out, you can still just warp or drive at very slow speeds. Yep. Which I think warping is the maybe the more convenient option. But I'm no expert. There was me thinking uh, a Yakutu would come and, um, a Lakitu even, come and rescue you if you ran out of fuel. Well, we don't know what happens when you walk, so maybe that is what happens. So, Road Trip Adventure is officially a Mario game. Yep. <laughs> I just walked to the wrong location. That's nice. Always, always messes with me when you uh, unlock the garage warp and it puts it right at the top of the list. Ah, fuck. Yeah. There we go. No, I don't care about you, Batho. Right, let's see where James is. James has a very, very big route, so it's... Always a bit hard to find him, but look at these right here. There we go. That is James's peach done. Where is that? There we go. Have I done the 20 miles lit yet? Let's see. Uh, yep, I have done that. And we're almost halfway through the coins, so that's good. Pretty on track. I always forget how many coins there are at this intersection. <clears throat> yeah, this one is always tricky with the coin radar because there's the, the the two down below, and then there's the one like up on the highway yeah. itself. That one's really annoying. And then there's the one that's just in the ocean, which is pretty special. I'm just thankful the devs did not set, decide to troll people who played this game and just scatter coins randomly in the ocean. Yeah, that would have been the ultimate debate. I mean, luckily there's uh, there's still the bar that always helps you out with like hints of where the coins are. But yeah, just turn left at this sea rock, but it's not that sea rock; it's this specific <laughs> sea rock. We had like. 500 miles southwest of the pyramid but like angle yourself with the middle pyramid in the bottom left one then maybe you'll find it if you don't veer off track too well coming up on uh, definitely not Las Vegas yep I think it's probably my favorite city in the game. Got a, a nice of, vibe to it. Yep. A lot of fun stuff to do as well. Yeah. Tons of mini games. Probably 
probably would have been faster for me to walk back to the factory than drive out of there. I need to do the red ruby, so I'm gonna go do that and get the coins on the way to there. Okay, never mind, I'm not gonna get that coin, okay. <laughs> I, I love the physics in this game, but man, they are such a troll. Man, oh man. Right, there we go. That's the red ruby done. As I tap it on my tablet screen that I have in front of me with the bingo card. I suppose I'll go do the uh, the lighthouse along with the pyramid coins. Oh, the ruins. Yep. For some reason, the, the ruins actually, like, spooked me as a kid. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's like one of those things where you're just a kid and you, like, you get scared by the most random things. I guess it's... I mean, as a kid, I used to have nightmares of wet, dry worlds, so I guess it's not the weirdest thing in the world. <laughs> Oh, I managed to get a good angle onto there. I didn't have to reverse. That's nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fast. Wow. Never done that before, but I'll take it. The physics giveth and the phys physics taketh. Yep. I think I'm going to say hi to the aliens just for fun. Just for fun. Because why wouldn't there be aliens in this game? Yep. But I include literally everything. While I'm out here, I guess I'll do Mr. King's business. Not sure why he is uh, so lazy to not drive across town for one football. I gotta drive all the way to work on a Saturday. Oh, I forgot to get that coin in there. That's fine.
Probably also get the toy gun while you're around here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's thanks for reminding me. No problem. I'll do that when I get the uh, the coin off the cliffside. I still have no idea how the um, how the the way the time changes when you fast travel works. It's a mystery to me. I almost wonder if it's based on like the distance that you fast travel, but I've not done any extensive testing on it. knocking down things bit by bit. And then we'll clear Mr. King's thing in the meantime as well. What's also cool is um, I'm going to have to visit all cloud all houses in Cloud Hill, so that means I'm going to have to do the uh, Obama skip, which is pretty fun. Oh, yeah. I remember the first year I did this, that was one of the uh, incentives. Or it might have been last year. No, I think it was last year. Although I'm not sure, I can't remember. Definitely the coolest skip in this game for sure. Yeah. Despite how, like, extremely buggy the game seems, there's actually not a whole lot of, like, major glitches you can do other than that. Which is quite strange. Uh, oh, sorry, oh, yeah, I need to go to. Best in yeah, it's... in the Mushroom Road. Pretty much just the president skip and then the a uh, like double speed glitch there is that's only useful in IL runs. Yeah. For like time trials and whatnot. Although we still have no idea how the the John situation happened. John situation. It was a very interesting moment. Should probably go get coin at some point as well so that I can get those snazzy parts. <clears throat> uh, real quick, I would like to remind our viewers that there are only seven minutes left for you to donate a cumulative amount of 20 dollars to be eligible for the Team 17 game pack for today. This game pack consists of uh, two Steam keys, one for Rogue Heroes, Ruins of Tezos, and the other one is Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Amazing games, and uh, oh, could it could it be, could it be that we actually just received? Oh my God! I hate this tunnel so much. 
Yeah, this guardrail... That guardrail was impossibly annoying. I'm not quite sure why they put it there. Probably would have been easy for me to just go up the cliff face and go through the rest of the tunnel. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had my tab uh, hidden away somewhere. But indeed, we did receive some donations. Um, and if now is a good time, I would like to read them to you. All right, Black Eyes donates ten dollars, saying, "I love, love the twenty-four-seven charity streams. Thank you, thank you, Black Eyes, for the generous donation." And another ten dollars come from Drifter, saying, "If hosts hum Tokyo Drift to inspire our runner, I will donate ten more." Panda. Oh no, he's not here. I shall consult with my co-host and hopefully we can get another $10 from Drifter. Thank you very much for the donations. Greatly appreciated, folks. I'm trying to think. Shirley is... Uh... Man, it's been a while since I did the fluffy mushroom. Oh, you know what? You'll have to, uh, get to her part of the trading side quest. Oh, yeah. That is true. Because she isn't... Yeah, okay. It's not that big of a deal, though. I did that the other day, so I should be yeah. fine. Yeah. And it should be quick, especially now that you got pretty much all the warps. Yeah. It's like the, the fucking Biro, the big Oran sword from Ocarina. Gotta spend ages to try and get it doing these trades. Well, it doesn't take that long, but yeah. <clears throat> that was very bad. Guys, mind if I jump in with a donation? Sure thing. Yep. We have ten dollars from our very own trick, um. saying, "If Ho sings the chorus to gas, 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 I will donate ten dollars more." Sounds good. Well, I mean, my singing's not great, so I am going to apologise in advance. But I'll give it my best shot for charity. Gas, 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 I'm gonna step on the gas. Tonight, I'll fly, and I'll be your lover. Yeah, 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 I'll be so quick as a flash, and I'll be your hero. Gas, 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 I'm gonna run as a flash. Tonight, I'll fight to be the winner. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna step on the gas. And you'll see the big show! Excellent. <laughs> Things I'll do I'm, for $10. I'm out here. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, and back over to you. Alright. Should be done with Chestnut Canyon for now. I'm bouncing all over the place, that's pretty fun. That jump I did earlier out of Chestnut Canyon, that was pretty Yeah, crazy. I saw that. That was crazy. <laughs> Gotta love it when that happens. How many coins we are? 75. 
25 more to go. Right, let's think. Oh yeah, Violet Moonstone while I'm here. And I need the other coins anyway, so... Fortunately, the killer mushrooms did not decide to attack because the hitboxes on those things are really easy to get stuck in. <laughs> yeah. For some reason. Some of the hitboxes of like the some of the world assets in this game are really whack. Like uh, the the roofs in the Papaya Island villages. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Um, fucking this up badly. Uh. Yeah, this gem. I'm. Tr I think the intended way is they wanted you to get the water skis and like ski at this one for some reason. I always did it with the big tires. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> right, Fuji ski. I'm gonna go. Yeah, that one is oddly placed. Yeah. Or maybe they wanted you to jump down from... Nah, that wouldn't work because you float too much. Before forwards. Yeah. Because I was thinking maybe like from up on the plateau where White Mountain is, but yeah, that wouldn't work. Nearly cleared all of Fuji City in one bound over the castle. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hang on, does the rally work if you don't get Loud Hill? Looks like it doesn't. Hey bingo fans, Friday is now over, which means the Friday Team 17 pack has closed. But what it does mean is the Saturday pack is now open. If you donate £20 you'll be entered into the pack for today which is blasphemous and going under. And that will close at midnight tomorrow. Alright, so I'm not going to equip the big tires here because it actually makes it easier to get up to the Cloud Hill Island. This wall always fascinated me. I've tried different like routes of putting on like more grippy tires for this wall. And I've noticed that if you, if you use better off-road tires, it's actually harder to get up this wall. Yeah, it's <laughs> always weird how we think we know how this game works and something random like this wall will just, like, stump everyone. Oh no, that's a bad trajectory. Oh! That hurts. What am I doing? There we go. 
I don't normally fail that, but yeah. Happens sometimes. It should be especially easily with the wing, because you can like sort of change your angle, but I was so off track there. Ah oh, yes, the gravity manipulator disguised as a spoiler. Yeah. Should we be able to take it from here? Yep. And very nice jump straight in. I'm gonna do every other house here in the meantime and then come back here at the end for the president's gift. Also, yeah, if you're not convinced this uh, somehow isn't a Mario game, the unapologetic use of rainbow roads in Cloud Hill. <laughs> yep. Secretly a Mario game. There's even the, the rainbow jump, which kind of feels like something they do with a wing cap in Mario 64. Because you gotta, like, jump through rings and land on a floating island in the middle of nowhere. Everyone's least favorite minigame, except mine. Mine's curling. They're both absolute agony. Those two think... and uh, the lava course. Uh, I, I've never had that much problem with the lava course, to be honest. I've just taken it really, really slowly. But I think the thing is with curling, you can usually get like a little bit of technique if you just like find your footing. With the rainbow jump, it's always kind of a shoot, a shot in the dark. Yeah. Unless curling randomly decides to just soft lock on you. I'm, I'm still not quite sure what causes it, but... I've never had that happen. Yeah, you, you'll slide down to the, the target and you just will be stuck there and the game won't score you. It's weird. Probably something to do with, like, your velocity never, like, truly hitting zero or something. Something like that, yeah. Oh wait, no, it's Chestnut Canyon first, isn't it? Oh no, this is... Oh no, it's San Podis, then Chestnut Canyon. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I had to do this mission literally during my practice run yesterday. Because I needed to get all houses in Papaya Island, and that involves getting Shirley. Yep. Doesn't count to visit a house if no one's in it. Yep. Which is strange because I was still in the house, I can vouch for that. Oh, 
Also, I like how they they count the White House as a like just a random person's house. <laughs> That was way too far. I did not want to go over here. Ah, well, uh, the physics. Guess I'm redoing that. I'm going the normal person way. I don't know why I wanted to jump over anyway, because the house is like off to the right. Let's jump in with another quick donation, guys. Sure thing. Yeah. Got another $10 from Trick, as promised. And he um, says, that was excellent. Bamboo for you, and Godspeed to the runner. And um, I've also been reliably informed that it's somebody's birthday today. Well, it was two hours ago, but... Oh, oh well. <laughs> Chat, um, should we um, sing you happy birthday anyway? Yeah. Uh, where am I going now? Uh, White Mountain, yeah. That's right. I, I think chat are definitely behind that idea, so <laughs> wait for Zet to um, get in here and we'll sing you happy birthday. Alright. Thank you. Wait, wait, who whose birthday is it? I just came Mine. back. <laughs> yeah. Yes, um we're gonna feel um, sing happy birthday to him for why not? Alright. So uh, one, two, three Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Gay Flighter. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. I'm sure that sounded like excellent. <laughs> now blow out the candles. How, how old are you now? 19. How is it legal to be this young? Wow. Yeah, stop <laughs> making me feel old. Uh, Here's the happy birthday. And uh, good luck on the rest of the run, I guess. Thank you very much. I'm having an interesting time get, trying to get over this fence. But yeah, thanks a lot for all the good wishes. I'm sure the delay on Discord made that sound absolutely excellent on stream. <laughs> oh, actually, considering the Q's rally, I might be a little bit overestimate. That might take a while. As we just sang the uh, birthday chant for you, we have a ten dollar donation from a donor called Happy Birthday. <laughs> I have an idea who that is, and it says, "Happy Birthday, Cave Lighter! Thank you so much for the ten dollars." And. Um, Tricks, who my, may or may not be happy birthday, also donated ten dollars earlier, saying that was an excellent bamboo for you and Godspeed to the runner. Thank you for sticking true to your word to um, filling your end of the bargain of uh, donating the other ten dollars after the amazing performance by Panda singing us the gas 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 song. Thank you. Thank you all for all the donations. I can assure you it is going to a very good cause. Yes, yes, thank you everyone. Oh, 
How many coins am I on? 86. I'm trying to think where I might have missed some along the way. Because I don't think there's 14 on Papaya Island, are there? I uh, yeah, I don't think there is. Think was being delayed for a bit. This wall. Let's see. Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. Like the wall to get up. There's the uh, the glitch w with uh, driving backwards allows us to kind of just get up walls sometimes. Yep because they uh, decided to have a check to make sure you couldn't drive up them forward, but they forgot to add a check to uh, make sure you couldn't drive up them backwards. Some 200 IQ programming right there. Let's listen to Pappy Tree's story. Bingo Sink is having a moment. I like how the tree, uh, the tree story is just tree is old. The end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very old tree. Goodbye. Stamp for you. Now get out. Um, where is the coin? Okay, that was a slight overshot. I should have got that coin while I was on the island. Actually, I could just no, I could just exit from Cloud Hill, can't I? Yep. That's probably faster. How many coins? 94. Oh, this one's gonna be a pain. I gotta go through every bar and see where I've missed the coins. Man, hunting on these last few would always be a pain without those, though. Yeah. Let me tell you. 
could you even imagine? Near the ocean cliffs, okay. That's easy enough. Yeah, there might be a couple out in that windmill area. Yeah, I thought I cleared them out, but clearly I missed a couple. I think I, I also forgot to do the My City ones. Yep, two back behind there. Did you get the one yeah. under the, uh, the end of the bridge as well? The Fuji bridge? Yep. Yeah, I got that one early on. Okay. Okay, well that's that's one way to miss the coin. Thank god these cliffs are sloped. It's like the only sloped cliffs in the game. From the ocean. I think there's one in this direction as well. I guess all that's left that I could think of is my city. two over here. I'm just trying to think where the others could be. Yeah, there should be one more along the ocean cliff back here. I think you should head, I think you gotta head yeah, south. south? Yep. Yeah, there it is. I actually could I think there's another one as well, even further south. I did go further south already, I think, so... Okay. Yeah, I got the one over here. Alright. I'll just check its sand posts to make sure there's no more. I think there was one to the north as well that I didn't get, but... I guess we'll see in a moment. I'm really tight on time, though, which is... Because there's no way I'm getting the keys rally done in time, so that might take a while. Oh wait, I just skipped the message. Oh, it's the glitched one. <laughs> the fucking the one that goes outside the text box. That's a classic. <laughs> okay, it's the one to the west of the ruins. It's located. Located. One ninety seven, yeah. make absolutely sure that there's none left here. Oh, 
Oh, that one as well, yeah. Should be one more, I think. I suspect there's one near my city, but I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, I think it's just the two that you got, but... one more. That's gonna be really annoying. I uh, suppose I'll check Chestnut Canyon. Ugh. I think it must be either White Mountain or um, Mushroom Road. Yeah. So I think I did all of the Fuji ones. Sorry for absolutely butchering the schedule, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about that. Tech issues did that for us. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah, just let us know when you're getting close to um, time so we can stop the timer for you. Yeah, I will do. Cheers! Oh, I know the one. I, I missed, like, the most obvious coin in the world. Now I remember. Oh my god. I can't believe I missed this one. Oh, the one right up top of the yeah. the tunnel entrance. Because I saw it earlier and thought, okay, I'll get that later. Come on. There we go. Nice physics. Nice physics. There we go. Oh, that's that finally done. Now I can do the keys of ra the keys rally and Cloud Hill stuff. And then we can finish off. Well, I hid them somewhere. Such a random life. Wait, what? Why is... hang on. Why is the Q's rally not here? Um... Hmm. That's quite odd. I've got all the warps. Oh, I haven't been in this factory yet, that's why. I only went in this factory now, so it's probably there now. Yeah, there it is. Yep. That was my my mistake. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> that was almost really weird. I 
wish you could upgrade your fuel tank in this game. Yeah, that would've... would've been nice. I don't know why they call this a rally. It's not really much of a rally, is it? Yeah, I'm not sure, but I guess I don't know what really else you could call it. I guess it's more of like a like a marathon or a tour. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Ah, uh, almost. What a fitting into a bingo. One one last tour around the map, and then uh, ending with the uh, probably best glitch in the game. Yeah. At least we we overstayed our welcome, but at least we end on a good note. Thank you, physics. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to White Mountain. To be honest, I think without the without the coins, this would have been like one of the easiest bingos I've ever done. Yeah, that's a really favorable card. Thankfully, this uh, was... Thankfully, this wasn't fun. blackout. Yeah. All right, because I see win the Grand Prix right there, and uh, that is yeah, not that's fun. A, that's a blackout killer, right? There. Blackout in this game is such a wild card. Speaking of wild cards, I'm going to be playing um, Minecraft on Sunday, so that's going to always be an interesting bingo. It's always a fun bingo. What is this mini craft you talk of? I've never heard of it. Uh, it's like a really small indie game. I don't think I don't think a whole lot of people know about it. Yeah, it's a very niche small indie game. So, you know, um, if you're not done within the next 10 minutes, we're going to have to call it. Alright, that's fine. I should be hopefully done within the next 10 minutes. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, there's very few things left. Just finishing up 
this little drive. Probably like a few minutes left on that, and then the glitch is pretty quick. It's not too too difficult to pull off, so it should happen within a try or two. I should have, and looking back on it now, I should have gone for column three. Actually, that would have been way better than doing the Q's rally. But I think even then, I would have been overestimate because it took me so long to get all the coins. The coins were the true time killer. Yeah. But that, that is, what is again... The... That's why I put them as an incentive in the first place, because <laughs> it's a really challenging thing to do. The people did donate for it. Yep. Thank you, kind people. <laughs> Thank you for the donations, and now I have to suffer. <laughs> Nah, it's fine. You know nothing of suffering, for you are not a cyberpunk runner. <laughs> I don't know, that seems pretty fun to be honest. You're just breaking the game the whole time. Yeah, it's like 90% cutscene. Oh. was having a bit of a moment there. Final stretch. Final stretch. And then we go to Cloud Hill, and then we're done. That was a clean jump, and that was not a clean exit. The amount of fuel I've wasted has killed several animals along the way. All in the name of speed. Yep. Green peace out after F1, I think you're fine. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We've cleared the Q's rally. Finally, it's time to go to Cloud Hill and finish this once and for all. That's the wrong walk. Alright, I guess I can try to quickly explain President Skip. Uh, so, in Cloud Hill, uh, the final objective of the game, which was become the President, uh, President lives in Cloud Hill, but uh, we can't actually reach his... Uh, reach the mansion without having cleared the World Grand Prix. But fortunately, we discovered a glitch that lets us get in there uh, literally anytime we want. So Cave will perform that to clear the last house in Cloud Hill to get the last thing for Bingo. Yep. It just so happens the one wall that you can do this glitch with is the wall that you need to get to the final part of the game. There we go. 
And when you uh, bump into that guy just right and the wall, you uh, get sent flying backwards. Yep. It's a very, very special glitch. In a moment, I should be done. Yep, time is coming up. Yep. And time. You want to know your final time? Um, it's like one thirty-five. <laughs> Pretty much, and forty-one seconds. All right. That was a, quite a bit overestimate, but oof, considering the coins, I'm quite satisfied with that. So, yeah, yeah that it was, was still a, a fun run. run. So, is there anybody you want to give a quick last shout out to in the community? Then now would be a good time. Well, shout out to the entire Road Trip Adventure Discord for being yep. cool people. Yep, appreciate all you guys in there. Yep, and yeah, it's been a really good day.
There's a question thingy? <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm going, uh, I I'm gonna start in three, two, one. How are you doing, Bingothon? Wasn't that a great run we just witnessed? It was definitely a great run, but was it the greatest run we have seen? I don't know. Who could answer me such a question? There are many people that could answer it, but they are beyond my pay grade. So, what do you think of the upcoming run? So, the upcoming run... I don't know... What is there to say about the run? It's a game that is based off a popular Pixar movie involving monsters that are in a different dimension. Who would have thought of such a thing? Isn't it funny that the car kind of looked like a monster truck and now we are seeing a game about Monsters Inc? Oh, that is funny and coming up soon we have a game where you capture monsters. And would there be a bid war for that? Bid war like Pokemon Black and White, where you can choose the start Pokemon name. What name would you pick, Zet? Well, to be honest. I haven't played Pokemon since uh, generation, since the very first generation. So, could you tell me? Could somebody enlighten me about the new Pokemon? I don't know which which are the the best. Which are the starter Pokemon of the of this generation? I don't know. That is a very good question, and Google has all the answers, of course. There Does is it? Snivy, the grass type Pokemon. Oshawott, a water type Pokemon, and Tepig. Can you guess what type of Pokemon that is? You mean Tepig? Do I mean Tepig? Is it grass? No, it's not grass. You're close, but it's not grass. Could it possibly be a type that is related to the color red? Oh, so is it fire? It is fire, and what of them three is your favourite? Well, to answer that, I will have to ask, what do these Pokemon look like? Ah, again, a very, very good question. Well, Snivy is like a grass connoisseur. His face looks like he's turning his nose up at everybody and he's wearing a green waistcoat. Tepig looks like a Labrador um, who is just bouncing around having all the fun. And of course, Oshawott just looks like a cuddly teddy bear. Who wouldn't want to hook him? 